Heck yeah, I am. Okay, so I start off with this is what three cups of food looks like in their dish. And that looks like about enough water. Um, since they've gotten older, we don't really do anything special anymore with putting dine or any coconut oil. Sometimes I put a little bit of coconut oil in there, not much anymore. And now we'll get them in their chairs. And come on, easy. Daddy, get you. She pretty well knows what to do. She backs her booty right in. And they know what's going on. Maverick, come here. Come here, Mav. So, she's ready to go. She, she'll sit there and wait for a minute. We gotta get the big boy. Um, we built both the chairs. My hubby built both of them for him. The other one, the first one, was actually just a cabinet that he modified. Small. And here's our little beast. Um, we're hoping, we're actually in the process of building his chair, hopefully he'll be more like her. We can just back him in. That poor thing's been through a lot. Alright, hang on, grab a bowl. Their food, so anymore, I don't really, it's just starting to get a little soggy, a little frothy. That seems to work best for them. And... She's a pretty good eater. She just, it, it's messy, just definitely. Her condition's pretty messy. Maverick. You see he's towering out of his chair right now. <laughs> he's looking at us like. Oh, well, there you go, big boy. He's gonna squat. We might have to help him out here so we get his other chair built. <laughs> Sometimes they're very spoiled and hand feed them. I love her. Every day. <laughs> so, this is just a little glimpse. Hopefully, this helps. It's been a long road getting here, but they're worth it. Oh, good girl. So, it takes, um, I don't know, how long do you think it takes them to eat, honey? Five, five minutes or so no, on average? No, no, it's not. The last couple of weeks they they ate by themselves pretty good. So, um, so it, it kind of it just depends uh, on their mood. They're they're like typical dogs. They don't always eat every so easily every day the full meal, but on average it probably they, takes them. They, they normally make up for each other. Right. They uh, sometimes we switch bowls after they're halfway done, and they think they're different. Sometimes they'll finish each other's food, so it's not yeah, the end of the world. Not a rocket science, but it doesn't normally take very long. And then I normally start their 20 minutes once they've actually finished eating. And then with Maisie, as we were talking about burping earlier, I just reach back on her back and we just kind of give her a few good pats on each side. For a few minutes, a lot of times when they were younger, they actually burped better. Now that they're older, not so much. But nice few big taps and that seems to work for them. Sometimes it took longer, sometimes it, they didn't do anything at all. There's really not a right or wrong way to do it. He's gonna sit now. He's so, up. there she goes. She's almost done, I guess I'll just wait. Definitely stubborn, used to being stubborn. <laughs> stubborn and these two are very spoiled. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were really bad at one point because um, she would, you know, regurgitate her food or not eat it. And we learned that you just have to be patient with them. So there's nothing worse than feeding them and 20 minutes later they're uh, puking it up. Or, you know, just spend so much time with them. But, most times in the morning and stuff, they, um, 
I think when we, we originally we planned on um, her, we talked to the vet first. They said, well, just, just uh, plan on an hour a day of feeding them. But most of the time, we're so busy in the morning, we just yeah. these things. They're actually, obviously, you can see they're in our kitchen. So <laughs> yeah. they're just part of the family. And actually, when they were little, we used to drag their chair everywhere. Matt, Maisie spent quite a few mornings in the bathroom with us. Ah, just yeah, because uh, I could move the chair. Because we could move the, the chair. That's right. So we just. Or we face it towards the bathroom. Or, yeah. And look, he's, he's all yeah. suddenly interested again. So, she's actually doing pretty good. She's chowing it down. Y'all done, Miss? Oh, that's her sign. She's done for the most part. I mean, she's not as messy as she used to be. Now, some days if I get carried away with the water, it starts rolling everywhere. But, ugh, she used to be a messy little eater. And then, just, you hey, miss. Here, honey, hold the, hold the phone. I'm going to go for so she knows what that's. Got her. So, just give her. <laughs> She's pretty used to it. Doesn't phase her much anymore. And there's a lot of times that I would read on when they were younger about like massaging her throat. You could just hold her up and rub her neck. But you'll see some of them who got her up yeah. would rub their throats down. Some people feel that helps a lot better with moving their food down since they can't do it. So. She's used to a little neck massage. We used to do a lot when she was younger and a lot of the burping, so. Just different little techniques that may help your little girl as you guys are getting started. So. Anything else you think of right away? Alrighty, well, good luck. This is. Yeah, they, they like to stand up. Our, our uh, two like to stand. Yeah, sometimes he'll, he'll get lazy and he'll try sitting down, but most of the chairs you see, they they are mostly sitting down, but with the Danes, it just depends. It just kind of depends on your dog, your pup. Um, Maisie always is very persistent at a young age about standing. She wouldn't sit. You should jump right out of the chair if we tried to sit her down. So, and I've seen multiple ways online. Just Google Bailey chairs. Oh, Maisie used to sit in a five-gallon bucket. Um, I've just we're blessed here that my husband knows how to be handy and make theirs so she seems pretty comfortable standing up we don't know if it's better in her joints yet but he he's he's in between we're gonna make it the next chair we're making it so he can sit down or stand up so, so we're gonna make a removable front his personality he's a little more lazy than she is so or we're trying to tailor his next chair for him to either sit or stand so just whatever their needs are ah uh, and there she must be extra hungry today so she's stealing her brother's food which is not uncommon here well hopefully this helps best of luck let us know how she does